Hello and welcome to Summer Mess Technique. My name is Matthias Kaufmann and I like to show you some really new cool features of our MRL6 in combination with the RQ30. The MRL6 is uh, our latest data logger. It's a IP68 data logger in a very solid aluminium housing with various interface interfaces, USB, uh, RS-232, RS-485, SDF-12, Modbus, analog inputs and so on. Everything you need for a hydrographic station. The real cool feature of the MRL6 is that it works together with the RQ, so you can do a parameterization of the RQ30 through the data logger. And this is what I want to show you now. Uh, this is the commander software, the new Q commander software. It's now you can do the logger parameterization and the RQ parameterization in the same software. So if you go to connections, I already set up uh, two connections. One is for the RQ if I want to connect with an RS-485 uh, adapter. The other is the standard cable RS-232 to USB cable which, which comes with the data logger. It's already preset in the data logger. And now uh, the first really cool thing is we can just click scan for devices. Now what the software does, it, it looks for a data logger and it checks what type of sensors are connected to the data logger. So all yeah, uh, all future summer mesh technique sensors like uh, the RQ30, the RG30, uh, the SPA system, uh, the snow depth sensor, they will have this interface and you can directly talk through the data logger with the, with the RQ. This is just a warning message because the RQ I have currently connected uh, has not yet uh, the, the firmware which is uh, suitable for a bus system, but that's not a problem for that what I want to show you now. So what we can see, we found a data logger and an RQ30 uh, connected to it as device number one. If we go now to the parameter section, it's uh, pretty much the same as you had it in, in the RQ commander. Uh, we have two tabs here, one is the RQ, one is the MRL6. Now with the new data logger it works pretty much the same as with the RQ. So we have to download our parameters and the schema if you connect for the first time. And that's the basic setup of the of the data logger. So we have a station ID, we can give it a name, that's a demo device. You can set the measurement interval, the storage interval, uh, measurements. That's, that's actually kind of the maximum numbers of channels. We have set it to, in this case, to 5. Uh, and here you can see we have a temperature sensor connected to the data logger. That's the internal power supply. Uh, yeah, that's also a nice feature. The data logger has internal batteries. So if you want to run only uh, a temperature uh, a sensor or probably a uh, level sensor, you can work with the internal batteries and you don't even need a cabinet or external power supply. It also has a small built-in uh, solar charger you, and you can connect a 5 watt solar panel directly to the data logger. That's all pretty cool. So what you see, uh, I've set uh, the, the water level, the velocity and the discharge and if we switch over to the RQ we can now download the parameters of the RQ30. And that's exactly the same view as you had in the RQ commander. So nothing changed there. A little bit different look and feel, but uh, the menu structure is everything the same. So if we go back to the MRL6, what we can do now here is we can, for instance, uh, do a, a level test. We can pull, pull the data. Uh, I get an error message here because 
the sensor is on my lying on my desk and we are desk and we are out of uh, out of the range. I try to set it. Uh, let's set it to one meter. Test again. Yes, now we are at one meter. That's because the, the, the sensor is sitting on my desk and uh, the angle sensor was probably out of, of range. So what you can do now also with uh, analog sensors, you can very easy adjust or zero the sensors. I'm waiting for a temperature measurement, 22.6 degrees. If you want to calibrate it or to adjust, just press adjustment. Feels like 23, 20 degree, uh, 23 degrees Celsius today. So, yeah, if we pull again data, let's see, 23, 23 degrees. Great. We can also delete the offset here. And as in the RQ commander in the past, uh, this is marked in, in light red and you can do the upload, the modified parameters and that's it. Yeah, there are some more features and special functions in the data logger. Uh, we can also connect the um, external 3G modem uh, to the data logger. But there will be another, the next version, the MRL7, which will come out this summer. Then that one will have a built-in 3G modem and we will explain the, the modem features with the new MRL7. Yeah, that's more or less what I, I, I wanted to show you in, with the data logger and the RQ uh, working together very nicely. And but there is something more I, I really want to show you and that's with the new Q commander. We can open a profile pick one typical profile of a small river we'll remove the distortion, we see it's quite flat but let's have this view um, here we see the profile, the river cross section and this is the k-value table so we have a k-value range from around um, 70 to 90, something like that what is new is we have a, a scroll function now. You can use your uh, wheel on the, on the mouse to scroll or you can right click your mouse and you can scroll in with a right double click you get back to the initial screen. What is also cool is if you press the left mouse button then you can go on the curve and you see all these data points you have. You had setting and what is new now and what is the great feature we have a new tab here that's the reference discharge with right mouse click we can add a reference so at the water level of 0 0.9 meter with a velocity of approximately one meter the hydraulic model calculates a discharge of 4.833 cubic meter per second if you have a reference measurement at this stage uh, and you put in the velocity of the RQ and the stage of the RQ and you can put in the discharge you are measuring with a reference device, for instance a current meter, tracer or even ADCP. And if you get a discharge of 4.6 cubic meter in this case, you will get a black dot here in the K value tab and the new feature is you can now pull this k-value tab and drag it right right to this reference measurement and what it does it is it automatically changes the k-factor for that stage so in case or for instance if you have some further reference measurements for instance at 0 0.5 meter we have a velocity or we are measuring a velocity of 0 0.6 meter per second let's check what the discharge would be approximately 
in the calculated oh, it's a, about 1.24 and you can say no it's not 1.24 it's more like 1.3 so we get a black point here 1.3 we snap the k value curve and, and pull it up and that's a very simple and, and easy way to calibrate the, the hydraulic model and the, the RQ30 to your measurement site. Yeah, that's that's the new features, new new highlights of the Q Commander software, and in combination with the MRL6 data logger. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us. We will be happy to, to show you, to demonstrate you the Emerald 6 and the RQ30. And yeah, have a look on our website www.sommer.at and have a good day. Thank you.